हेलो स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास नाइन बी एंड टेंथ बी टुडे आई एम जस्ट रिवाइजिंग द टॉपिक जॉइनिंग द सेंटेंसेस विदाउट यूजिंग एंड बट सो दिस टॉपिक इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक बिकॉज यू गेट अ क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू दिस टॉपिक in board examination as question 5c now let's take up the topic now since you have to frame a sentence without using and but so you have to think of another alternatives that can be used in places of these words for joining the sentences as one so let's take up and when we take up and the alternatives of and can be as well as or besides for example he is a teacher he is a social worker you are having two simple sentences one is he is a teacher full stop he is a social worker so these are the two simple sentences now how can you use how can you join these two simple sentences by using any other alternative of and so if you are thinking of using as well as then the sentence can be framed in this way he is a teacher as well as a social worker okay so what you have done is you have joined these two simple sentences by an alternative as well as and this is how you have framed one single sentence out of two okay so he is a teacher as well as a social worker now as i've told you another alternative that can be used just besides so what you do is you can frame a sentence in this way besides being a teacher comma he is a social worker now being you have used the alternative besides here in the sentence and being is the form of is that you have used in the sentence it's a form of is that you have used in the sentence so besides being a teacher comma he is a social worker okay so this is how you can frame the sentences without using and without using and now let's take up another word that is but now a sentence can be framed or you can combine a sentence using these alternatives of but like although yet in spite of despite okay so let's take the example he is rich but does not help the poor now you have to frame a sentence without using this word but you have to frame a sentence without using this word but so when you frame a sentence without using the word but that means these are the two alternatives here no rich and poor but how can you choice is there he is rich but he does not help the poor hmm? so when you are using an any of the alternatives to replace this word but the sentence will be framed in this way although he is rich he does not help the poor although he is rich comma he does not help the poor okay another way to frame is he is rich 
yet he does not help the poor. He is rich, yet he does not help the poor. Next one is, in spite of being rich, he does not help the poor. And the next one is despite being now children be very careful very careful when you are framing a sentence beginning with in spite of huh? along with in spite you can use of but with despite you cannot use of if you write of here it will be considered wrong so when you frame a sentence beginning with in spite Use of, in spite of being rich, he does not help the poor. And when you frame a sentence beginning with despite, don't use of, only write, despite being rich, he does not help the poor. Any, any transformation of sentence in any form that you are doing, most important is be careful of the tense in which the sentence is framed. Okay? Now let's take up another word that is so. Now alternatives of so can be as, therefore. Hmm? Let's take the example. Let us stop our work. It's time to have our dinner. These are the two sentences. Let's stop our work. It's time to have our dinner. So when you are told to join these two sentences, as one, you can frame it in this way. As it is time to have our dinner, comma, let us stop our work. Okay? Or you can also write it in this way. Let us stop our work as it is time to have our dinner. It's not necessary that you begin with as. You can use as even in between the sentence. But one of the ways, hmm, one of the ways is by using as in the sentence. Then you can use therefore. It's time to have our dinner. Therefore, let us stop our work. Okay? So, this is how you can frame in a very simplified manner the sentences using the alternatives of and, but, so. Now, let's take up either or or neither nor okay now for example either jyoti or moti is coming today so with either you will use or with either you will use or and with neither you will use nor okay so in this sentence, which I have framed, either Jyoti or Moti is coming today. Negative, neither indicates the negative word. Huh? So, neither Sohan nor Mohan is trustworthy. Is that clear? <coughs> so, these are some of the rules and then you have also um, been taught uh, when we were dealing with the um, simple compound and complex sentences when we were dealing with the simple compound and complex sentences we have discussed how to use uh, alternative conjunctions coordinating conjunctions and subordinating conjunctions to frame the sentences that in that can also be uh, that can also be uh, used in framing a sentence, uh, in combining a sentence without using and but so. Okay? Thank you.